seven. Good outside. The switch. Tomjic goes over. Oh, What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well and I'm not doing well. As pretty much Tom Thibodeau said in his interview or press conference, there's no leaked footage of it out. Though it's like from tweets, but it's reliable sources like a guy like Ian Bagley, but I wouldn't really say the other guy's a reliable source. Kind of throwing shade, kind of not, because you're not going to know what I'm talking about here. But oh my gosh, I, I just don't get it. Like, Emmanuel quickly is not going to be starting for the New York Knicks tomorrow, despite his performance, despite falling behind early in basketball games, despite zone being run, despite Alfred Payton being a guy that can't shoot the basketball, despite him not being a part of the future, Alfred Payton, because he's on a one-year deal, but who knows, he might be a part of the future the way they're starting him. And... Pretty much questions were asked, like, will he start? Do they like his fit, Emmanuel Quickly, with certain guys? And he was saying he likes the role Emmanuel Quickly is in right now. And I get it. Best, I guess, for winning basketball games, for, for his standards at least. Like, he thinks they're going to win games that way. But Alfred Payne's had a couple good games. You could say Emmanuel Quickly has been more consistent. I get it. You could say he's playing up against lower competition because he's coming off the bench. But Emmanuel Quickly's also been closing games, and he's proven to not be afraid of the big moment. And Emmanuel Quickly's a guy we've been needing in New York. If it's a point guard, a guy that's not afraid of the big moment, a guy that's not afraid to put the team on his back towards the end of games. But we're tired of seeing zone, which affects the team in just such a terrible way of you can't score at a good level when you don't have shooters and their zone being run against you whatsoever it's really hard to score the basketball and we fall up behind so early so why not start strong and finish strong and start Emmanuel quickly who's a part of the feature he could score keeps his head up passes to everyone on the floor makes the right read he's going to go through growing pains Alfred Payne's he's, Alfred Payne like and don't give me this thing like he's a rookie Emmanuel quickly is clearly a better player than Alfred Payne yes you could say there's some kinks in Emmanuel quickly's game he has to work out like sometimes jumping in the air passing the basketball Alfred Payne's a few years or many years into his NBA career just he's not even close to perfect this man there's no such thing as a perfect player but he's still making rookie mistakes. He makes stupid mistakes, Alfred Payne. And I don't get it. He doesn't want to bring a brand new element or what. I just don't understand it with Tom Thibodeau. Quickly is clearly a better basketball player. And I know you guys are like, it doesn't matter, Noah. Mano Quickly is closing out games. He's closing out games. Great. But he puts us in these positions with his rotations. Like, I really don't get what Tom Thibodeau's seeing out there. Like, Quickly's not even the first guy off the bench. I get it, Rivers is his leader. But you have Emmanuel Quickly coming to the game, best impact player, best player on the floor. Don't even play him the whole third quarter. It was too little too late with um, Emmanuel Quickly. Like, yes, maybe you could say um, we ended the third quarter really strong. But just like, I'm really tired of seeing Emmanuel Quickly come into the game too late. Or just like, yes, it's awesome to have Quickly and like, um, close out these games like on both ends of the floor even if we don't win or lose get that experience for him but just think about something else Tom Thibodeau like starting the game strong let's start it strong because we know how stale this team is offensively with Alfred Payne in the lineup he doesn't look like he's motivated at all it's just common sense you start Emmanuel quickly the guy that just dropped 31 points the guy who had like 23 too like this man showing it's no fluke he could score the ball and not like he's a ball hog and he could do it catch and shoot situations using that floater in the lane of course i would like to see him be more aggressive like going stronger to the rim and not always using that floater but it's just as simple as that just start emmanuel quickly i don't get it i just kind of wanted to get this ran out the way let me know down below your thoughts just there's so many elements that go into it if it's the zone consistently being run It'll be different with Quickly and Alec Burks in the lineup. Bullock better, like, we better not see Alec Burks or, no, we better not see um, Reggie Bullock in that starting lineup again. But it's really frustrating as Knicks fans. Um, Some common sense stuff doesn't happen in New York. I don't care that he's a rookie. You play the best player, and that is Emmanuel Quickly. And if he sucks his first game, oh, well. Tom Thibodeau, he's probably going to take him out of the starting lineup. But Alfred Payne has had so many bad games. Like, Quickly's going to learn. He's not going to be perfect every single game. And Peyton's never perfect. This man is freaking, I, I don't get it. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. 
you start a manual quickly. It's as simple as that.